Hey everybody, it's Chris from Prepared Mind 101 and we've got a new pack to look at today. It's not every day, but every once in a while I agree to review a product and I'm like, okay, well, let's see how this goes. And then I get blown away by it. And I think it's so great, I immediately want to put it on the Jessica list. And that is the case with the pack that we're going to look at today. And that is the Condor Elite Titan Assault Pack. So don't go away. So I actually shot a video on this the other day and I just had some mistakes with the camera so I'm, I'm doing it again. I'm going to cut in some scenes from that. But before we go into all the details of what this pack has to offer, let me tell you right off the bat what I like best about it. First of all, Condor Outdoors already makes a really good product. You've seen me review a bunch of their stuff recently including some of the two uh, medical packs, you know, the bottle kit, things like that. And they've got a really good reputation with their packs too. Well, they've got this new line called Condor Elite, which is like their premium tier. And this is part of it. And right off the bat, I just the construction, looking at the details in it, I'm like, this is up there with the best of the stuff. Uh, I've been a big fan of VanQuest. This is right up there with them. And VanQuest doesn't have anything like that, like this pack. So that's one thing I love about this pack is it fills a gap in my system for when I want this sort of thing. Right off the bat, let's point, take a, point the camera down here. The waist straps. The waist straps are a big deal. Why? Because they actually give you some hip support with carrying the weight. And that is something that is usually really lacking with tactical backpacks. It's usually one of the biggest complaints that I have. Go back to a video I did, which was kind of a lackluster video I, I did on like the Maxpedition Xantha. It, you know, on the outside it looks like a great tactical pack. It, tear it apart, and it's like, eh, they didn't even finish it. There's no hip support. It's just gonna, it just hurts your back. This thing feels amazing. The contouring, the way it's set up, and even the the way that they've got the cushions on the back. I don't know if we can see that with the camera, but the cushions, uh, the closed cell is kind of like ribbed and then you've got this mesh material right here that allows for more airflow on your back. You now the lumbar support is really good. Everything on this is really comfortable. It doesn't make your back get all sweaty and all that stuff. And then the organizational wise, this thing is pretty amazing too. So let me move the camera around and I'll show you uh, the breakdown of this pack. So as you can see on the back here, you got PALS webbing all over the back and on the side pouches and on the, the waist straps right here, which I was actually able to use that to use my pack mount Jessica X sheath and mount it on the pack cross draw. Actually worked really, really well. Up here, you have a gadget compartment that's fleece lined, so this is perfect for your smartphones, your sunglasses, things like that. Open up this pouch, and this is pretty much your organizational section. So zippers and pouches, zippers and pouches, shock cord and, and more pouches and mesh and just all sorts of organizational craziness up in this section. Now we go back one further section. First we gotta release the side compression straps. This is something that I really like. Oh, I'm in the wrong section. I'll get to that in a minute. So this is your main compartment. And as it stands, you're looking at two compartments. So you've got this main compartment here, and then you have a secondary compartment right here. So if you want to break things up into two different areas, you can do that. Or you reach in here, grab a hold of it, and you can actually unzip this divider, bring it down, and now this opens up into one giant compartment. So it's able to adapt to whatever your individual needs are 
based on what you're doing with the pack on that given day. So that I really like. And I didn't even notice that until I was actually shooting the first video. I was happy with it the way that it was with the two compartments. I thought it was really unique. But at the same time, I was like, well, what if I need that one big compartment? And then when I was digging in there, that's when I discovered the zipper. I was like, oh, wow, this, this just got even better. So where I thought I was earlier, if you go back to this portion and you unzip it, this is your two tier section. So this will fit like a 15 to 17 inch MacBook. So you've got a laptop sleeve. So this will actually double as an urban EDC pack, or you can use this for up to a 2.5 liter hydration bag. And then up here is where you've got your port for your drink tube. And then you can route that around to the straps with the straps have sections with uh, elastic band material, D-rings, and you can just route that drink tube through there. So this is a very versatile pack system that can be used a bunch of different ways. Both sides have these side pouches, you know, nothing to, big to report here. You got a pouch here, pouch there, drain hole in the bottom. Sorry, I got some noise there. This thing fits good, it, it wears good, it carries weight good. It's 500 denier Cordura, like brand name Cordura, not, not like a Chinese knockoff material. I actually, feeling it, thought it was a thousand denier material at first. Uh, it's just, it feels so sturdy and, and the way that it's built. I looked it up, it's actually 500 denier, which you know is still great when you're dealing with name brand Cordura nylon. So you got the white, you know, the usual stuff, the YKK zippers, you know, all the good parts. I mean, this, this is made from the good stuff. It, it's not, you know, some of the bigger companies, they're kind of going the other direction now. They're using cheaper and cheaper products while keeping their price point up the same as it was years ago when they were using this kind of material. So it's good that there's still a couple companies out there that are making stuff that is affordable to most of us yet giving us a good quality product. And this pack right here, uh, I checked on Amazon when I added it to my store. You're looking at about 150 bucks for this pack right here. So it's actually less expensive than my Ibex 30, which is also a, a favorite pack of mine. So this, for the money, you're getting a really, really good product. So basically that is my overview of the Condor Elite Titan Assault Pack. And I've got really nothing to report that's a negative. Like I said, when I first started to do this video, the one thing I was going to say is, well, I, while I like it the way that it is, the fact that I can't put everything into one big compartment was kind of a drawback until I discovered that you actually could and that you can, that you can open up that flap and make it one big compartment. At that point, having worn this around for several days in the woods, I've got absolutely no complaints about this product. I love it. It's just the right size. You know, it's also, I don't think I'm, I mentioned this, but it does have several loops on the bottom and it came with these straps folded up in one of the compartments. So you can actually attach a bedroll to the bottom of it. Or generally what I was doing this weekend when I was out is I was just using it to bundle up my tripod up underneath my pack and carry it that way so whatever you want to use it for bedroll sleeping bag tripod you know whatever it'll work underneath there this is an outstanding pack i really love this pack that's why i'm putting this pack on the jessica list so you know i don't put anything on the jessica list unless i think it is really top tier something that i would actually really 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 recommend and in no way, shape, or form do I think anybody is going to be unhappy with this. So, there you go. That is the Condor Elite Titan Assault Pack. Uh, make sure you check out all the links in the description box below. So, if you want to purchase one, if you want to read more about it on their website, and all the social media links for Prepare My 101 and Manus Outdoors, WoodsMonkey.com, you'll find it in the description box below. So, thanks for watching, and until next time, see you then.